This is a video on how to use the conditional start conditions within PASCO Capstone. First, I need to show the hardware setup. On my 850, I have a 4 sensor. This will be my sensor in which I will get my start condition from. And then I also have my temperature sensor attached, which I will actually be collecting the data from. I'm going to close my hardware setup. And now I'm going to go to a temperature data tab that I've established. On the upper, on the left-hand column, I have the temperature plotted. Uh, this wouldn't be required for your workbook once you set it up. This is just here for demonstration purposes. But I'm monitoring the force sensor data so we can see that as we're uh, collecting and monitoring our data. To set the conditional start condition, we'll need to go down to recording conditions at the lower uh, start bar. And then we'll select start condition from this property menu. For condition type, from this pull-down menu, we're going to select measurement based. Once I've selected that, I'm prompted for the data source, which I will monitor in order to uh, set my start condition. And from this, I will select my force sensor. I'm going to choose a, a fairly low value here so that um, I can exert that force with my thumb. And I'll press OK. The units for this is, are defined by the, the data source units above. Once I've done that, I can start my data uh, collection. I have this set for continuous mode. I'm going to press my record button. If you look carefully here, my force values are very, very small, and they're certainly below my start condition. My start condition will um, actually start to collect data once the uh, force level rises above 1 newton. You can also see here that um, I have my temperature being monitored. However, it's not actually collecting the data because I have not met my start condition. So if you look carefully over here under the force, I'm going to very carefully increase my force. And as soon as I've exceeded the one Newton value, my data collection starts.